man, what are some ways that you can invest your money, man, to double it up and go ahead so you can buy your first American bully or purchase that extra American bully, man. YouTube, what's the deal? What's the deal, man? Welcome back to my channel, man. Like I said, we, I'm trying to teach you how to invest your money so you can go ahead and uh, get you and purchase you a new bull, man, uh, for your first bully adding a bully to your camp and even if you trying to purchase you some stud services and stuff like that from a, another camp and stuff like that so look man when it comes to I and mean, i already told you all the story how i purchased miss jackson with buying stocks you know we're not talking about trading stocks uh which i do trade but we're talking about long long term investing into stocks so uh, when i did buy miss jackson i was able to sit some money into my stock account i have bought some stocks which i tell uh talk about my one of my other videos but I had put some money to some stocks. I didn't have to put in no work. You know, I wasn't taking money out. I was just putting it in, let it sit, and it grew for me. I say it took about four or five months. And it might have been faster. To be honest, I think it was faster than that. I say, I say about, it was about four or five months, I say about, till where the money was able to grow. And this was when we was in a crazy bull market. It was a pandemic going on. So the, mo so the money, so the stock was moving pretty fast on some crazy stuff to where I was able to put in some, some hundreds, you know, and and it grew to some thousands no hey no bs it grew to some thousands and i was able to buy a bully so when it comes to stocks and stuff like that and buying stocks like i said it's a long-term game if you're trying to purchase a bully and stuff like that and say you only got uh, if you got a hundred dollars and you're trying to save up man go ahead and take that money man and put it into some stocks you got stocks like apple you got stocks like tesla you got stocks like airbnb you got stocks like uh, Block, which is uh, Square Cash. You got stocks like PayPal, FinTech stocks. Uh, you got the SPY, which is the S&P 500. You got the NASDAQ, which, and those are ETFs, man. You got so many stocks. If you look at the stock history, you able to see, you know, the gains yearly of what these stocks are doing. So when it comes to stocks, you got a bear market and you got a bull market. When it comes to the bear market, a bear market is when the stock is trending down. A bull market is when the stocks when the stocks are trending up. So whether it be trending up or down, it could be two weeks, a few months. You know, it could be a year type of trend as far as bull and bear. But so this is what people don't understand when it comes to buying stocks, and we in a bull market, and the people that's been holding stocks are the ones that's selling, and then you have new people that's hopping in, or they. It's a lot of things that go to it, but you got people that's hopping in. And then you might have other companies that find that it's the right time to hop in, but they're looking at the trends of the stock and they're looking at these highs and these lows. The highs is pretty much kind of telling them what the stock might to be able to get to if it hasn't reached that certain high again. And then it has a low and it tell you like, okay, what the stock can probably get to if it does go into trending market. But when it comes to that trending market and the time that's when, it, when you want to hop in is when it's a bear market, when a stock market is scarce, when you see people talking about the stock market and other people is taking it out because they're scared and they're losing money, you go, you got bank crisis, you got wars that happen, uh, just bad things that happen into the economy. That's when you want to go ahead and search for companies and you hop into the stock market and you go ahead and buy these stocks. Even if it does continue to trend down for these good companies, they're going to bounce back. Companies like Apple, companies like the uh, ETFs, like the Spy and stuff like that. It's, it's, man, it's, it's so many stocks that you can look into. I'm just naming off a few stocks that people can be familiar with and, and they can hear and they can understand. So basically when a stock does trend down like that and you hop in and continues to trend down, it's going to consolidate. You feel me? After a while and it's going to take time. You have, if it's not trending back up, then that's not the time that you want to start uh, touch your money and you don't want to be scared. You feel me? And you don't want to be putting money that you was hoping that you was going to uh, get a return within a month, a few weeks, a couple of months. This has to be money, you know, extra money that you put into the stock market and you let it sit. And then once you be able to, uh, once it starts to trend back up, then this is the time when you think about taking it out. Because sometimes a stock could trend and could get to a certain high and then you could take the money out and then it consolidate and it can sometimes consolidate and sometimes it can trend back down. And then you could take that money that you make that gain on and you could toss your money back in there and then it's almost like you doubling it up because it's going to go right back to where you just bought. you ended up selling in that but when you do stocks like that um you will have tax purposes so keep that in mind too as well when you do do that but when it comes to these stocks that's the best time to get in so say you're getting it in 
man and to be honest if you got like a hundred two hundred dollars yeah you go ahead and throw that in it's going to take a little bit longer for you to uh get those gains but every time you get a little bit of money you keep adding on to the stocks or buy stocks that are a little bit cheaper that can grow too but you know say you got a band you've been holding on to a band and you're trying to get that money to grow and you want to uh, use that money to you've been already saving that money you want to use that to buy a bully you want to buy a stud credit man throw that band in and you you find the right type of companies that band could go to 1200 within the two weeks you know three weeks uh two weeks a month two months you know it, it's different times you could go ahead and throw in up uh, two bands that two bands could go ahead and turn to 2400 in three weeks two weeks a couple of months you know sometimes sometimes that you find the right company and it's the right type of time when it comes to the economy you could turn that two bands and within two months that two bands could be four bands I've just seen it happen so many times and it happens on a regular basis. But you don't want to be chasing stocks and stuff like that. You just want to find certain good companies and you want to just sit that money money there. And if, if it so happens to go ahead and, and bubble for you like that, it happens. But you don't want to go ahead and be chasing stocks and it, it'll probably it'll drive you crazy or trying to catch certain type of trends and stuff like that. And you know, people be scarce of the stocks because they think about um during the pandemic when the GMs when uh AMC and the GameStop was going on and hella people lost money. And that was because when people hopped in, it was, the stock market was at the highs and then everybody and their mama talking about it and they wanna hop into the stock. And then when that happens, the people who been holding, they selling. You feel me? And now you stuck. And now people, a gang of people was, was stuck. So when they bought in at 300 and that stock went down to 150, they lost money. And then it was a few times that it did get back to that level and people still wasn't selling because they're thinking it's going to go to the moon or whatever the case is. But, yeah, most people uh, end up losing and they held and held and lost a gang of money or they sold at losses. And that's just sometimes it just happens to be part of the game. But if you find the right type of stocks and you in it for the long run, say you are saving for a bully, right? and then that money doesn't get to a certain amount you can still take that money out for a game but like i said this is a long-term game so when you are putting that money in and it, and it does sit then be patient with it man be patient and it just might not be the time for you to go ahead and grab you a bully until you know your money grow for you because if you go ahead and put that money in a savings account and you put it in the bank man you're only getting a point zero two uh percent off that savings and that's pennies man when you put in a certain amount of money man you got to have a gang of money in order to see an actual real return when you send that to your savings account man most of the people who are wealthy man they invest into stocks and they invest into the real estate stocks is more um more manageable for us you know you can go ahead and set up account right now and you can go ahead and by tomorrow you can have some money in there and then be invested once your account is set up and you can start investing immediately you feel me real estate is a little bit is a is a lot different as far as you know when it comes to investing man i'm gonna put my uh links in the description i'm gonna put my webull link and i'm gonna put my uh robin hood link in the description man if y'all want to set up account man and go ahead and get you free stocks for signing up and then uh, yeah as far as it comes to the investing part man I'm trying to put y'all on and let y'all know certain ways that we can invest our money, man. You know, most of us is breeders and some of us have pets and stuff like that, that that's going to be watching this channel or going to be tuning into this video. And then so what you want to do is, man, you want to be able to find certain type of different investments. So say, you know, a bully can be an investment too. So say you take that investment money you put into your stocks and then you go ahead and invest that into your bull. And then when it's time for either you got a female, your female get pregnant, trying to sell puppies or you have a, you have a stud it's time to sell some stud credits man yo you actually flipping some money some more yeah you got to think about you know the food the feeding the dog and you know investments and stuff like that of the c-section and all that stuff like that when it comes to the breeding but i'm just saying like you know at the end of the day you are having an investment and then when you go ahead and get that money off that uh, stocks man go ahead and shop right here at op bullies man holla at me man since i'm putting you all some game but i'm just here to help people man and uh, it show people a different way of how we can go ahead and uh, invest our money in and help people in this in this bully game man it's so many different ways that you can get money and make it and make it all come together full circle and i hope people can go ahead and and teach you know if y'all got some game for me drop it in comments to let me know of maybe what we can work on our inbox me or dm me you know all my social medias and stuff like that and if you are into uh investing drop in the comments and let me know man 
if you are already investing to the stock market and what stocks that you are invested in or if you haven't if you are if you haven't invested into the stock market and you've been thinking about it so many other ways that you can go ahead and, and invest your money but this is one good and great way that you can go ahead and do that and i hope people take real heed into this because it's real this man investing to stocks it's almost to me i feel like it's a must some people do have 401ks. 401ks is almost like the same thing, but the 401k is pretty much like a bank having your money, man. They they invest in your money and they holding it and they shooting you, you know, your percentages and what they and they what they doing with your money is they investing it too as well. You feel me? And then when your whatever you done with that company or whatever your 25, 35 years and they slide you your they slide you your bread, you feel me? They've been investing your money this whole time. But, but what, what you can do is you can deal with stocks and you can be a controller of your own money. That's pretty much what you know. They do have a little bit of certain type of benefits when it comes to the 401ks. And I'm not going to get into all of that. I'm just here to tell you all about the stock market and how you can try to uh, invest your money. As far as if you're trying to get a bully, you know, you're trying to get another pet. You're trying to get a, uh, buy some stuck, stuck credits or whatever the case is. Hope you all enjoy this. I uh, hope you all able to enjoy this information that I'm able to give, give you all. I appreciate you all that stayed to the end of the video. Man, I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers, man. Like I said, I'm going to keep dropping some gems for y'all. I'm not playing. We're going to be coming with some crazy content, some content that breeders that ain't other breeders that's not putting out there. You feel me? People will be stingy with the information. Why? I don't know. You feel me? It's it's a lot of stuff that I could search, be searching for, and the information ain't out there. So I'm trying to drop it on y'all and give it to y'all. Yeah, investing is out there. But you don't really hear too many breeders, if at all, that's really dropping gems on y'all about the stock market. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all continue to tune in with my channel. And the ones that have been rocking with me so far, keep tuning in, man. And I appreciate y'all. And y'all have a good one. I'm out.